certainly did look like it came straight from the heart, which kind of lines with her topic. Um, what I thought the interview that she did really well was you would seem very comfortable in your environment, you look very relaxed, uh, which made it easier for you and for the audience to kind of connect with you and uh, you know, uh, absorb the things you had to say and understand what you had to say. In terms of you know, knowledge of the subject, it was quite clear that you really knew what you were talking about. Uh, the fact that you have a book that's coming out soon, and it's, it has some, some similar underlying themes in that book, uh, clearly demonstrated that you knew what it is that you had to say and what you wanted to say, and had, had, you had knowledge of the subject matter. Uh, In terms of the vocal variety, uh, I have to say that um, it, it, you, you had a very uh, a very calm tone, a very a very uh, what do you call it consistent tone. There wasn't a lot of vocal variety, but you know I actually think that so that was okay, and that actually aligned a better way, aligned well with what the subject matter was. So now I wouldn't typically expect uh, with the type of subject that you were talking about there to be too much. Vocal so, I, because I can still be engaged, still be connected with it. Uh, so this this is an evaluation. So there are always you know strengths and also some areas of uh, opportunities for improvement. Uh, a couple of suggestions I would like to make, uh, and you kind of highlighted it yourself. You said that you are very free spirited, and sometimes you don't always follow the rules. And one of, one of the things that the book says to do is to have a little bit of structure around your speech. Uh, so definitely more. Spirited, even though I really enjoyed that. Um, and the other piece I would suggest is that uh, you try to leave the stage a little bit more, so, you know, perhaps coming here and making a point and then making your next point from here. Um, but yeah, uh, overall.